Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Today I want to go over a couple of updates for Prison Architect. If you're unfamiliar with the game and you've never heard about it, it's basically a prison management sim. Uh, you design and build your prison from the ground up. You have to manage your prisoners, you have to manage your staff, you have to manage programs that you might run for your prisoners. There's everything from like basic prison cells to solitary confinement to death row. It's like, I'm only not even scratching the surface. It's a really deep game. There's a lot going on in here. A lot of customization. You kind of lose yourself. If you're familiar with a game like RimWorld, that would probably be the most apt comparison that I could make, um, especially in terms of visual stuff. But uh, it's, a, it's a really good game. It's been out for quite a few years now. Uh, and it's a game that I've dabbled in on my own time. But recently, Paradox reached out and they asked if I'd be interested in working with them on a video regarding some newly announced DLC. So I want to say thanks to them for sponsoring this video. If you're a Prison Architect fan already, then there's two pieces of news that you're going to be super stoked to hear about today. Number one is the Sneezer update. This is a free content update. You're getting a whole bunch of new items, new features. Most importantly, new dog types. Number That's very good. Very good. Uh, you're getting additional improvements, fixes and features, quality of life stuff, uh, bug fixes, so on and so forth. There's like pages and pages of stuff here. Um, the second thing that's happening is that they're releasing their Psych Ward DLC on PC. This is a big deal because for a long time, this was a console exclusive. And there was recently some changes with Prison Architect. Uh, you've probably heard about the fact that Paradox bought, uh, bought them from Introversion. And I believe this was back in January. Um, so it's cool that they're starting to bring some of those other features in and still update this game. Uh, this DLC called the Psych Ward DLC is, I think, $5.99. I'll have links down below. You can check it out for yourself. But uh, I'm going to be going over some of the Psych Ward uh, features and just give you a basic walkthrough of what you can expect from that DLC. Won't be able to touch on everything, but we'll try our best to cover off the main key points. Um, the first thing to point out is that you get a new warden with this DLC. It's called Dr. Slugworth. And uh, it improves your psychiatrist treatments by 20%. And that the chances of receiving psychopathic, criminally insane inmates is higher. And you might be thinking to yourself, wow, criminally insane inmates, that sounds bad. But actually, it's good. You, you want these guys in here because this is the part of the DLC and it's fun. This is the best part now. This is great. So um, if you're building a new prison from scratch, this is probably a guy you want to try out with this DLC. Um, I've gone ahead and set up a very basic prison here. I've downloaded a starter prison from the Steam Workshop, and it gave us... It basically started us out with some offices, visitation, some cells, solitary confinement, canteen, kitchen, and, like, basic power and water. Uh, I've gone ahead and added some offices. I've done some bureaucracy research. I have completed some grants just to kind of get some cash going. Uh, we you can see we're losing cash. That's not important. The most important thing here is that we're going to start with the uh, criminally insane wing. And I'm going to kind of walk you through uh, what's involved in building out a criminally insane wing and what happens when you get these criminally insane inside of our prison. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our intake here. I've closed off all other prisoners and I'm going to enable the criminally insane. Now, there's nine available. And so it's going to give us $27,000 for bringing these guys in. I'm just going to max this out. I'll say, hey, we'll, we'll fill our prisoner to... Let's do this. Let's just do it to nine since there's nine available. And um, that way at our next delivery of prisoners, all the criminally insane guys are going to come. And we'll have to build them a nice, lovely space to live in. So that's going to happen in 24 hours from now. While that's happening, I'm going to try to unlock some other stuff in here. Uh, we need orderlies. So these guys are new. Basically, they're specially trained to restrain the criminally insane without harming them. Uh, whereas normal guards are a little bit too hands-on, and sometimes that angers the criminally insane, as you can imagine. Uh, so let's start researching this. It's going to take 12 hours to do. Uh, they're also going to fit straight jackets to our psychopathic inmates at nighttime to prevent them from hurting themselves. Pretty important duties, if I do say so myself. Uh, so, nothing's going to happen here until tomorrow. We're not going to get any any prisoners. So in the meantime, because we took on that grant, we're going to start to change some of our uh, structures. 
uh, so that we're ready for these criminally insane. Now, in order to convert your cells to criminally insane, or you can just build them straight up, um, it's the same requirements as a normal prison cell. If you go into your rooms here, uh, you go into padded cells. All you need, if you look here at your regular cell, uh, two by three room, it's enclosed, it's indoors, bed, toilet. Same thing with a padded cell, but what's going to happen is it's going to, let me see, I'll just, I'll just highlight this one for you. This is now a padded cell. So notice it actually changed the walls to be padded. Uh, this is a regular cell. This is a padded cell. Now, your, your criminally insane guys will not take a regular cell. They just won't, it just won't happen. So I'm going to change these all to padded cells. And uh, we have the space now for our criminally insane. Part of this challenge is to actually take in 10. So let's go back to our, in our intake. We'll set our total number of prisoners to 10. There's only nine available right now, but you know, tomorrow we'll get another one and that'll be fine. We also need to set up um, two psychiatrists and give them an office. So if we want to, we can hire our two psychiatrists. We have a free office here, but notice it's saying they require a psychiatrist office. So what's different? Well, um, the one thing that we know about psychiatrists is they love their couches. So if we take a look at a psychiatrist office here, the minimum uh, requirements is a four by four room, an office desk, a chair, a wide sofa, a filing cabinet, and it's gotta be indoors. So if we convert this empty office here into a psychiatrist office, we have almost everything that we need. The only thing we're missing is the wide sofa. So let's go in here and search for the wide sofa. Let's plop that in. And Bob's your uncle. We've got a psychiatrist's office. Once they move this in, you'll see one of these guys go over and take that office to himself. Now, what we can do is we can replicate this if we want to uh, build another one out manually. We could do that. I'm going to go ahead and clone this. And basically just say, I want that. And we're going to plop it over here. And uh, our guys will get to work building a second psychiatrist office. We're 82% to our orderly. So we're going to hire a few of these when they're done. And they'll be here before our inmates are even delivered, which is pretty cool. Um, if we take a look, when we enable the criminally insane inmates... Uh, we get a letter from the CEO who's basically highlighting some of the changes. And this is actually kind of a nice tutorial uh, for things to work through with this DLC uh, to kind of get you up and running. So the first thing he's saying is the inmates must have padded cells. So you can transform standard cells into padded, which we've already done. Once your padded cells are in, you'll be able to accept your first batch of inmates. Uh, you want to make sure you have psychiatrists and orderly staff members in your payroll. Psychiatrists also require a special office. So we took care of that part, um, but we do need to hire some orderlies, which is now um, researched and done. I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I don't even think we need to grab any of these right now. Um, just to keep things clean and orderly. See what I did there? Let's uh, get some power into that office. And now that those guys are available, let's grab some of the orderlies. So we're going to have eventually like 10, um, 10 of these prisoners. But we're definitely overstaffed. We're losing money. This is not like an efficient setup. Uh, but in terms of showing you guys the, the content, I think this will do just fine. Now, uh, when we get through this night... We're going to escort all of our newly acquired criminally insane patients. I shouldn't call them patients. Shouldn't call them patients. They are prisoners. <laughs> it's way, way better. Way better. Uh, let's see. Sometimes, and I think this is because of the way I imported this prison. Uh, sometimes some of our utilities don't get built or connected correctly. Either way, it's done now. Okay. We're also going to need to set up programs for regular meetings where these guys go into the psychiatrist's office and have a little chat to reduce their insano meter, I'm calling it. Uh, once these guys arrive, I'll show you this little meter. Here they are. Look at our look at our batch of crazies. Okay, so we've got Sean Hurdley, 
I'm not gonna introduce you to all of them, but let's see if we... Oh, jeez. Okay, this is dark already. Uh, 12 years for rape. That's bad. Gross indecency. Also bad. He deserves... He deserves to be here. Yep. He definitely does. Bribery, blackmail, violent disorders here. Torture. Paul Conigan. Uh, Sean Daner. Assault. Scott Mead. False accounting. Holy. Joyriding. You can see they all... They all have various degrees of, uh, of crazy. And it doesn't really matter what their convictions are. That's not what's dictating that they're crazy. It's just that these guys are criminally insane. And that's just how they are. Uh, it will say here that they feel a constant level of suppression. And they require padded cells and psychiatric help to keep them calm. Um, criminal, criminally insane inmates that ignite, which is basically happens when this meter over their head fills. Uh, they're going to cause damage to the prison, attack people, attempt to break free, as well as other unpredictable stuff. So, you should notice that the orderlies and the guards are going out to collect all of these guys. And uh, it's a good thing, too, because if you leave them out here for too long, they'll just run off, which is, you know, pretty bad, as you can imagine. So, they're all being escorted into their padded cells. And for the purposes of this uh, video, I'm actually going to change some of these back to regular cells just to show you something. Uh, let's go with, like, this... Let's maybe do... We'll leave four padded and four non. So these guys are not even going to have cells. And the reason I'm doing this is just kind of upset them a little bit. It's going to take a bit for that to kick in, but we will certainly get there. Um, we don't have any new prisoners coming in tomorrow. These are... It's kind of chance-based. We have two that are available. Uh, so I think on the next day, we'll get these, uh, these last two. So basically, this guy's wondering, he's like, okay, well, where am I going to go? I have no free cells. What can I do? It's fine. We're just going to let them get upset a little bit. And uh, while they do that, we'll maybe take a look at our regimes and our programs to get these guys meeting with the psychiatrist on a regular basis. So uh, normal security is going to be on this left side, criminally insane on this right side. In order to attend any programs or do work, you need to assign work slash free time. So I believe in just, you know, letting these guys kind of chill out. They don't need to be locked up all the time. Let's schedule like two, three hour blocks that are shared between uh, programs and free time instead of uh, lockup. We can even add this here if we want. And uh, what, what we can then do is go into our programs we want to look at psychiatric consultations. So you'll notice when you hover over this, um, it's $150 per session. It's pretty costly, but this keeps our psychiatric or our criminally insane patients in check. Uh, it takes an hour to do. Each prisoner requires that sofa. Criminally insane inmates only. Uh, it is something that you repeat, and students can be escorted by guards, um, but pre preferably the... Um, what do we call them again? The orderlies take them in there. So that's that's preferable. So now that we've allocated all those slots, we can open up all these different um, times. And these are automatically assigned based on what our regime is. So we have scheduling between 9 and 12, between 5 and 7 here. So if you look at the programs, we can see that they've automatically assigned these slots. Um, okay, so... Let's see. We have uh, no new prisoners coming today. We'll wait till tomorrow. Hopefully we get our 10th. And then we'll try and keep an eye here on getting these guys into the psychiatrist's office. So we're starting to see some of their anger building a little bit. So this guy's at a, uh, an agitated status. If you go into each of these individual uh, prisoners, you can see these reputation things that they have. And these are kind of like uh, traits almost. Um, so this guy is strong, so he hits harder with each punch during fights. He's volatile, liable to kick off without warning and no reason. This guy's a serious problem. He's a he's a he's an issue. Um, and they're getting slightly more upset intentionally. But notice now, okay. So this guy, he's agitated minus minus. So it's going in the right direction. And the reason that that's happening is because of this padded cell. Uh, if we look at for any of our other guys that are not in the cells, where are we at? Like these guys? Uh, he's minus minus. This guy's plus plus. And let's see. I imagine this guy, yeah. This guy's probably going to switch. 
He's going in between, but he is on the whole. His agitation is growing pretty significantly. So the reason I'm showing you this is so that you can see the impact of this padded cells and and the psychiatrist visits, which should start to happen very soon. I'm going to open up these rooms now. You'll notice as soon as they're in here, this starts to decrease pretty rapidly. Let's go back here. We have four people in queue, three in queue, two in queue. And the reason I think that that's happening is because of that agitation level dropping. Um, so we want that agitation high just so that I can show you the, uh, the meetings with these guys. I'm going to get them all out of there and force them to go to their consultations. Notice this has now been removed because we don't have any more uh, padded cells. They're all getting super agitated. This is good. Go crazy. Go crazy. Uh, let's do... Here we go. Okay, so let, if we set this up to 13, then it's going to grab these four. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Let's just get them all in there. Okay. This guy is like, he's going to blow a gasket. He's reached unstable status. He needs everything. He's got serious problems. Uh, this is not great. However, notice now Rogers has gone in here. He was escorted by this orderly. And uh, this guy is now chatting with him. His agitation is an agitated minus. So he's starting to uh, he's starting to be a lot more chill, which is good. Um, we've got the fog of war, so we can't necessarily see in there all the time. But if we want to, we could go into... Where is it? If we want to do this, I'm going to need... Let's get a bunch of these guys in. And I think... Let's go into deployment here. Just to give us, like, eyes on everything, I could station somebody in here so that we don't have to deal with fog of war. But either way, you can see, these guys are bringing people in and out of these meetings. And these have to happen all the time to try and manage stuff. Someone's died. It's fine. Oh, they died in this office. He killed the, <laughs> he killed the psychiatrist. Okay. Murdered by the prisoner with a fountain pen. I mean, that happens. That happens. You know, this guy is very agitated. Does not have a padded room. He's losing his marbles. Okay. It's a thing. It's a thing that happens. Let's get these padded rooms set up. You guys get the, you get the idea now. You, you get the idea. Um, you can also, you can also set up padded solitary cells. So down here, these are our solitary cells. Let's go ahead and change these over. Um... And then what I'm going to do once this stuff is unlocked, we'll position some guards in here permanently so we can always keep an eye on what's happening. Um, you can turn off Fog of War too if you want, but it's kind of a more realist, quote-unquote realistic way of playing it. Let's get another psychiatrist in here. Um, so you can see, these criminally insane guys, if you've played this before, they have their own unique set of challenges that you need to manage. And uh, I like it because it changes up from the basic gameplay. Having to go to these meetings, having to do with the padded cells. You have to have a separate wing. You have to cordon these guys off. Ideally, ideally, you would um, have separate holding cells and all of that kind of stuff. So let me see. Do we want to... Let's do it. Let's change this over to a padded holding cell. So we've got all of our basic... Um, criminally insane stuff set up and running. Um, that's, that's like a super basic overview of what's, what this DLC adds. Very basic overview. Somebody just escaped. No big deal. Um, there's also things where like, so you're providing the, uh, you're providing the counseling. You have a whole bunch of behaviors that you need to manage. Um, you have to... Make sure that um, if you're subjecting your inmates to excessive suppression or punishment, that can cause them to go criminally insane. So I think that's referenced in here as well. Uh, inmates from other security levels have a chance to become criminally insane. Mixing them with regular inmates is bad. Orderlies we've set up. Um, letting them untreated and unchecked. They might exhibit unpredictable behaviors, which we noticed. Uh, and you can see it gets out of hand fairly quickly. So, yeah. Anyways, this is going to be a shorter video. 
Uh, this is just showing off some of the basics. Feel free to get in there and and mess around with the um, Psych Ward DLC as much as you want. I'll have links down below. Uh, hopefully, you guys found some value in this. If you're a prison architect, architect fan already, this is going to be great news. And hey, maybe you're looking at this. You're like, hey, this looks kind of cool. I got questions. There's a ton of tutorials online. I don't have prison architect videos that, that I've made in the past. Uh, I would recommend a couple of people to you. Check out uh, my good friend, Charlie Pryor. He makes really good uh, prison architect videos. He streams it a lot. He's got like crazy prisons. Check out Sips as well. He does some cool prison architect stuff. And uh, this is a game that if they ever did like uh, a big content update and people were really interested in it, again, I would I would dive in here and play a full, uh, a full series because it is a fun game to, uh, to experiment with. And, you know, you can... Get all these prisoners in here. I can name them after you guys. That would be super fun. I think you guys could be all the crazies. It'd be a super good time. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good time. And uh, go check out the new DLC. Bye for now.